old people, the people that we patronise, have a view. And we should listen to it. Now, of course, this isn't a universal view, but it is a view that is held by many. Now, the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster asked on Saturday, how could we protect every old person? The answer is obvious to everyone in this place. We could not protect every old person. But we could have provided them with the information to make informed choices about their own safety. Because, funnily enough, you don't get old by being that stupid. There's a degree of wisdom in older people, isn't there? I hope to achieve that wisdom one day myself, <laughs> Madam Deputy Speaker. <laughs> but there is a serious point here. No government, no government can abolish death. It is impossible. 615,000 people die every year in this country. And not every death is a tragedy. It is so distressing when I hear leaders of political parties, leaders of their communities, leaders in this place say every death was a tragedy. A tragedy is when a child dies. A tragedy is when some young woman or young man dies, or when you are cut down in your middle years. But when we say it is a tragedy, when someone at 80 or 90 has met their mortality, we diminish that life so well lived. We diminish the love, we diminish the way that person was cherished and the way that person was valued. So please, please can we just change the narrative when we talk about death? Because not all deaths are equal, there is the same outcome. But to compare the death of someone of 90 with the death of someone of 19 is not right. It is not right. But of course there has been tragedy attached to the death of elderly people. And that tragedy is that in their final days and months they've been denied the touch of the people that they love. The people that they love. We have kept families apart for the good of an old person that is desperate to see their child, is desperate to be cared for by their daughter in their final months and weeks. So my plea to this place is please can we involve older people in this discussion because they love their children and grandchildren and want to see them prosper. They want to see them have the same chances and opportunities that they had 